quel tempo, a quel momento. In those times, there was a predominant word in our town that my father always used. He's a gentleman, he's not a gentleman. It was an important distinction. Barilla presents A Hundred Years Ahead of His Time, the extraordinary adventure of Pietro Barilla, the young Pietro. Family and work, two pillars around which Pietro Barilla's life evolves. Two great entities that constantly intersect and create the foundation of an existence based on fair play and aim towards the future with trust. Pietro is convinced that his behavior today will determine his life tomorrow. His second son Luca recalls. Dad believed if you did something good, it would come back to you. And he expressed it with the word providence. He said, if a person, an entity, a company behaves well and remains on the side of truth, doing things honestly in the interest of themselves and others, in the end, providence will show gratitude. Providence will intervene because I can't believe a man who has dedicated his entire life to the good will be punished. Otherwise, what's worth believing in? Pietro is born in 1913. When the Second World War breaks out, he's just 26 years old. He's young, full of life, and he's just started working in his family business. He's well prepared and has studied abroad in Germany. But everything comes to a dramatic halt and he leaves for the front. He's unlucky. He's sent to the worst place of all, the Russian front. The war is tough. Pietro sees lots of people die. Not so much because of the bullets and the bombs but from starvation and cold. His son Luca tells a story which is typical of his father's behavior. La sua famiglia era benestante. Our grandparents were wealthy, and once or twice a month they prepared a parcel to send to dad full of salamis, parmesan and food which would keep. The parcel was worth billions of lira. It was priceless because people were literally dying of hunger out there. He shared the contents of the parcel with his comrades. He cut up the salami. It was easy, two pieces for you, Two pieces for me. And good deeds sooner or later come back to you. After 11 months at the front, Pietro gets a license to come home. He goes back home, but the license runs out and he has to return to the front, otherwise he would be considered a deserter. So resigned to his fate, he gets the train towards the east and changes trains at various stations. We met again by chance in that bar in Udine. He had to go back to the Russian front, there where we first met. I couldn't let him go. He would have died. A doctor lieutenant, a comrade of Pietro's in that terrible war, never forgot how he shared that precious food with everyone. He saves his life. I obtained a medical certificate so he could return home. I never forgot his generosity. He was truly a good person. So well to reap well with trust. This is the concept of providence that guides the actions of Pietro during the war and then throughout his life as a man and entrepreneur. A hundred years ahead of his time, the extraordinary adventure of Pietro Barilla. Faith is an important word. Faith in life with man as protagonists, faith in one's work and within one's own small mission. 